NATO is increasing air patrols over Poland to ensure no unidentified aircraft enters NATO territory. And President Biden is requesting $10 billion to help protect Ukraine. In addition to the array of American weapons and supplies already going to Ukrainian forces, which includes Stinger missiles. Correspondent Evan Lambert is live in D.C. So, Evan, explain what a Stinger missile is and how it works. Nicole, these are one of the main defenses that Ukraine is using against Russia during this onslaught, and they are now being directly provided to Ukraine from the U.S. These missiles, they can be fired simply off a shoulder. They are also light, and basically a service member just has to aim, fire, forget about it, and let the missile find its target. We want to show you what these look like close up. They are made here in the U.S. by Raytheon Technologies and described as lightweight, portable. They can be deployed quickly as well, and the heat-seeking missile can target any kind of aircraft, planes, helicopters, drones. The U.S. has given permission for other countries to send uh, these American-made stingers to Ukraine, but just in the last few days, the U.S. authorized direct shipments. Now, it's not clear how many or the logistics of these shipments. The Pentagon not discussing those sensitive details. Now, Russia has faced these stingers before the U.S. in the 1980s, the CIA secretly providing them to Afghan rebels. Now, about 40 years later, Russia facing this lethal threat again. Now, the U.S. has said so far it's given more than a billion dollars of security assistance to Ukraine. Nicole? All right, Evan, with an important explainer there. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.